Hi everyone, I'm Dasha. Welcome to another MS Paint Challenge video. This time I will show you how I painted Black Widow from the Avengers. When I was looking for a reference, I had in mind what I roughly want. I wanted her with her iconic red hair and I found this image. I think it's from a promotional poster of one of the Avengers movies and it fits perfectly what I wanted. So let's get right into the process. So I did this a bit differently than the Iron Man painting. Here I'm going straight into color and sketching the rough composition, filling in the basic tones. I actually like this early stage of the painting. I think it has a cool aesthetic to it. What do you think? So I'm slowly refining the shapes and making sure the proportions are right. Working on the face first, the skin, nose, eyes and eyebrows. I put the ears in place. So I start fixing the proportions of the hair and add more shapes and shading and highlights. Then ears, the chin area and lips the neck and the collar, adjusting things gradually. So just like with Iron Man, here I'm using the pencil brush that has four size settings. In the beginning I used the oil brush just to fill in big spaces first. I decided to work on the face and get it close to the finished stage first, it's just a personal preference because it bothers me if the face is a sketchy work in progress for a very long time. I'm gonna get it out of the way and then I will work on the jacket and the background. So, as you can see, working on the skin, I'm using dots. Yeah, it's very repetitive and time consuming, but that's basically the only way to get the skin texture in this high resolution, since skin has a lot of pores. The left side of the face is partially in shadow. Finally the eyes, so it looks like she has a bluish eyeliner on the bottom eyelid. I'm making the top eyelid crease dark, I also darken the iris and the retina. Then I add eyelashes.
So I move on to the forehead which is a pretty large area in the image and it's gonna take a lot of work. I'm also fixing the hair around the forehead. And then I add darker shadows in the hair and more vibrant colors. By the way, which part of the painting do you guys think was the most frustrating and lengthy? Leave me your guess in the comments and I'm gonna tell you the answer at the end of the video. Gradually adding details to the lips. Lips have a lot of little wrinkles. So at this stage, it was already similar to the final result, but details do matter a lot, especially in this case, since I'm using a large canvas, a 4K resolution canvas like with Iron Man. So at that resolution, a lot of information fits in the image. And if we open it at 100%, if something isn't painted properly, it shows. So I want to make sure there's as much detail as reasonably possible. I'm shading the hair around the face and making it look more soft and natural with lighter looking roots, adding more texture to the skin to get nice gradients. The eyes were finished or almost finished here and the face is almost done. Then I finally moved on to the other parts. In the original reference she's wearing a jacket with a dotted texture, but I will remove the dots, the rest of it will remain pretty much the same. It has a bright warm light on the edges because Scarlet is backlit. I corrected the proportions and added some basic details like the zipper, creases, the stripes on her shoulders and the logos on her sleeves. I darkened the shadows for a more accurate contrast. So the hair, uh, starting from bigger shapes, then defining smaller strands. Her hair has the brightest highlights on the far left and the far right edge. Some of the highlights are very bright yellow and in some places white. The top of the head is a bit simpler.
I blended some of the background to start unifying it. I added a basic tone underneath the whole areas of hair, then I can paint the individual hair more conveniently. Working on the loose strands around the sides of the face and neck. At this stage, the hair starts to look much better. I also add a lot of individual hairs sticking out, just overall a lot more details. I detailed the ears and the hair above the ear. Came back to the lips for some more work. Then the neck, which doesn't have a lot of detail, but it has a large gradient, which is time consuming in MS Paint. I'm going around the whole portrait wherever I find convenient to render details. Moving on to the final stage, including the background. In the original reference, there is a skyscraper, some smoke and debris flying in the air, but for this I will simplify it. Uh, it will also make Scarlet stand out more in the image. Creating some simple cloud or smoke shapes behind her and blending it all together. 
At this stage, I mostly only worked on the background and the jacket, basically finishing off the entire image. I didn't measure it, but I think the background in this painting took me much less time than in Iron Man, or maybe it just feels that way. I don't know. Or maybe it just went better and was slightly less repetitive than in Iron Man, since over there it was a big background of just flames. It took a long time to blend them and make them look nice. Smoothing the jacket, detailing the stripes on the shoulders and the logos on the sleeves. I add a zipper onto the jacket and at this stage the painting is almost done. So I'm looking for places to fix and adding details that will improve the entire look. I made sure to record the final part of the process properly, so that once again it's obvious that it was all done in MS Paint. And then the painting was finally finished. So it is done, and here it is. Well, I'm happy with the result. I think the background adjustment worked pretty well too. I actually felt like this painting was done much faster than Iron Man, but after adding the recordings and work time up, 
This one ends up around 99 or 100 hours, so pretty much the same as Iron Man, which was around 97 hours. This really surprised me, and around 10 hours editing time or so, um, I had 192 recordings to edit for this one. About the most frustrating part of the process, it was actually the forehead. I think because it's such a big part of the image with barely any variety of contents and a lot of detail, it felt like I worked on it for a very long time. But most importantly, what about you guys? Do you like the result or not? And if you like it, which part of the image do you like the most? Also, what other challenges do you want me to try? Let me know your suggestions in the comments! If you would like to see more of my videos, you can subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have a beautiful day or night. And I will see you in the next video.